Welcome to Scorpion Adventures with Johnny and Mitch. On this channel, we will be covering various species of scorpions, their habitats, and other scorpion activities. Uh, this is our newest addition to our scorpion family, Brutus. He's an Asian forest scorpion, and Asian forest scorpions come from anywhere from Indonesia to India. And uh, he's a male. He's about five and a half to five inches long, and uh, and they, they live in the tropical rainforest. So they like a wet burrow and a place to hide. So we'll show you that in the tank setup. Hey guys, this is uh, Brutus, the Asian forest scorpion's tank. And uh, right off the bat, you can tell that I have a different substrate here. This is Eco Earth, and uh, it's different from the Red Claw because the Red Claws come from Southern Africa. And, or mid-Africa and they like a dry sand and uh, Asian forest scorpions they like it more of a wet tropical place because they live in the tropical rainforest so and then to the left we have the water dish it's raised just like the red claws and this one's a little bit deeper a little bit thicker because the Asian forest scorpion dwarfs the red claws twice the size of it so it's able to go down in and I can keep it shallower and keep less things from getting into the water and uh, over the right here we have its hide I just made like a quick little pyramid out of wood, nothing real fancy. And if I left it up there, it was where he spends most of his time during the day. And uh, to the right here, we have a heating pad. And I keep this one directly under the scorpion because the thickness of the eco earth is a lot thicker than the distance between the scorpion, the red claw, and the heating pad over for the red claw. So I keep this one a little bit thicker. It keeps it nice and warm. You can feel it that putting his hand down in the burrow that it's putting off a lot more heat. And scorpions like it, you know, 85 degrees. And they also like it 85 humidity as well. So that's why I keep the squirt bottle in here. And uh, any time that it starts to like dry out, I just give it like a puff. And that keeps the humidity up just as high. And like when I leave like for the weekend or something, I'll put a piece of saran up over the top to keep most of the heat in. And it stays pretty well heated like that. So for Asian forest scorpions, basically you just need a hide. Definitely re recommend Eco Earth over any sort of sand and a raised water dish as well. So there it is, the Asian forest scorpions tank setup.